Hello to everyone! In this lesson, we will discuss how to manage public presentation anxiety. Namely, what are the reasons of anxiety? How do we identify the fears generated by the way of thinking and behavior? And finally, what are the techniques and best practices for managing anxiety during public speaking? Glossophobia, or the fear of speaking in public, is a conglomeration of fears such as the fear of making mistakes, of being criticized, the fear of not being interesting or forgetting everything what you were going to say. However, the fear of speaking in public is part of the group of social phobias and affects 75% of people. The famous Mark Twain said that there are two types of speakers, those that are nervous and those that are liars. In order to face your fears, it's important to understand why you feel anxious about public speaking. There could be many reasons, but the reasons we will talk about in today's lessons are universal. First one is that you feel aware that you are in the center of attention. This is one of the most common reasons why people fear public speaking. It is easy to become uncomfortable in front of an audience because we wonder how others perceive us. Try to view the speech as a conversation between people, but not a presentation to an unknown audience. The second is that you have a psychological response. For most people, the fear they experience is the result of a psychological response. A large audience could trigger the awakening of the nervous system. This can cause rapid breathing, tremors, and an increased heart rate, all of which make it difficult to speak confidently. You might even be tempted to run and get out of the situation. Don't worry, because later we will explore some strategies you can use to slow down this psychological response. The third one is that you are worried about looking nervous. Many times we get scared because we are aware that we are showing symptoms of anxiety. The truth is your audience will not notice or remember many of the things you care about. Gary Gennard, an expert in public communication, suggests that you should not focus on the audience, but think about how you can influence it. The fourth is that you compare yourself to others. It's easy to compare yourself to presenters who are professionals or one of your friends who has a lot of confidence. However, if all speakers would be the same, speeches would not longer be interesting. Additionally, your goal is to provide something to your audience, either it's inspiration, an idea, or a solution. The fifth is that you have failed or experienced difficulties in the past. Gary Gennard explains that public speaking anxiety is often a learned behavior. If you are ever had a public speaking problem where you felt like you failed, you will have that feeling again next time. However, if the fear of failure can hinder your ability to speak well, then the anticipation of success can have an equally positive impact. It's all about changing your mindset, which we will discuss later in this lesson. The sixth is that you don't have the necessary skills. Perhaps you are not at all used to public speaking and have not learned the appropriate skills. In this case, your anxiety is legitimate, but also easily solved. All you need to do is prepare well and learn some of the skills. You should know that there are two main incursions into public speaking anxiety. The first is to change the way you think, and the second is to change your behavior. Next, I will present you some techniques and best practices to overcome the anxiety generated by the way of thinking. These tips will help cut your anxiety in half, and that's a great start. 
If you can change the way you think about public speaking, you will change the way you feel. First, realize that anxiety and nervousness are not signs of trouble. These are just signs that you are about to do something important. We do not get emotional about meaningless activities. Even the professionals are excited. Mircea Surtu, presenter of the show Good Evening, with 30 years of experience of public presentation in front of the camera, said in an interview that he is always emotional when he has to speak in public. Being emotional is not a sign that there is something wrong with you. Second, realize that you are only half nervous. The other half is called excitement. They are two sides of the same emotional coin. A journalist with 40 years of experience in the interview about the launch of a new show said that she feels butterflies in her stomach. So those butterflies are proof that you are alive and about to do something special. The third tip is to realize that you don't show how excited you are as you feel inside. Your listeners cannot tell how you feel. They can only see what you show them. I have had the experience of presenting in public and many times my colleagues could not sense my nervousness. Here is why it's something you don't need to worry about. Fourth, you need to know that the emotional peak lasts less than 60 seconds. The hardest part is usually the anticipation, the waiting. My advice is to remind yourself that you will feel much better after one minute after you start the presentation. The fifth tip is to accept that anxiety and nervousness are not a barrier to do something remarkable. Many speakers mistakenly believe that if they are nervous, then they cannot do a good job. Any actor admits to being emotional before going on stage, but the emotions don't stop them from appearing confident on the stage. The sixth tip is to assume that everyone has your back. Basically, everyone wants you to do well. We drastically overestimate the negative judgment or possible criticism we may experience. The truth is that 99% of listeners are empathetic. They all spoke in public. They know what it's like. I say 99% because sometimes you will see people with a sad, Thoughtful facial expression. That negative face does not mean that there is something wrong with your presentation. They are probably just having a bad day. So assume that everyone wants you to succeed and they are on your side. Here are six behavioral tips to help you overcome your public speaking anxiety. The first tip is to practice a lot. Exercise isn't a quick fix, but it's the best way to feel better. Dale Carnegie once said that only the prepared speaker deserves to be confident. I recommend practicing a presentation 10 times a few days before the event. Even if you still get those butterflies, you can be sure you are ready. 95% of the success of a presentation is determined by how you practice. So even if you are still emotional, that won't stop you from giving a good presentation. The second is that you prepare, focus on your message and your audience. Speakers who become most emotional focus on themselves. And when we focus on ourselves, we can get emotional. I would say that perfectionism and the threat of feeling judged are the two issues that we focus on and think about ourselves most of the time. Instead, as you prepare and as you speak, focus your effort on your message and your audience. Number three, view the first 30 seconds as positive. This will help reduce that emotional spike from the start. I imagine how the presentation will take place, how I go in front of the audience, how I am introduced by the person leading the event. I imagine the people there, and I often tell a joke to relax audience. 
This helps me feel good because visualization is another way to iterate. The fourth tip is to arrive early and walk around the room. This practice helps me analyze the room, get comfortable with it, so that the space feels like familiar territory. Walking around only takes two minutes, but it always calms my emotions by at least 50%. Number five, know your audience beforehand. Find out everything you can about your audience, about the people who will be there. Reducing uncertainty cuts our anxiety. I talk to people before the presentation. It's a useful distraction. If I focus on meeting other people, I don't think about myself. And number six, inhale and exhale deeply through your nose. And I don't mean metaphorically. Slow, deep breathing lowers our heart rate, blood pressure, and tells the brain to relax. We all want to succeed and make a good presentation so that we are noticed and remembered. But you have to understand that it's a hard work and we all feel like in this picture. Keep practicing and you will be able to reduce your anxiety by 50%, which is a measurable result. I recommend you watch the movie King's Speech, in which you will see how King George VI of Great Britain used certain techniques to overcome his fear of speaking in public, especially because he had a problem with articulating words. Thank you for watching this lesson. See you.